In the previous lecture, we learned about the document object. The document is a global object that represents the HTML and contents of a web page. And with JavaScript, you can select and change different parts of the web page by interacting with the document object. To understand how document object works requires an understanding of the DOM. DOM stands for Document Object Model. It's a representation of a web page that JavaScript can use. Just like a city map is a model of a city that helps you get around the town, the DOM is a map of a web page that JavaScript can use. Now, unlike a map, the DOM is a live entity. So all the changes that JavaScript makes to the DOM alter the web page. Just imagine drawing a street on a map made that street appear in a real life. Well, that's kind of how it works in the browser. The DOM represents a web page as a tree-like structure. If you think of an HTML web page, you have a head and a body. Nested inside those, you have another elements. The head contains a title element, for example. The body contains heading, paragraph, UL elements, and UL element would have LI elements inside. These nested elements can all be thought of as a tree. The document element or node would be the root node of the tree. The head and the body node sprout like branches leading to other branches. And at the top of the tree are leaves, like a heading element or list item nodes. These leaves represent the most deeply nested tags of an HTML web page. In computer science, trees like this are drawn from the top down, more like a family tree. In fact, the relationship between nodes is described in a family-like terms. For example, the body is the parent of the H1, P and UL nodes, the LI nodes are all children of the UL node, and the LI nodes are siblings of each other. Similarly, the head and the body are siblings as well. As you'll see very soon, JavaScript is going to use these family relationships and this tree-like model to understand and alter the structure of web pages. Up next, we'll do a quick recap of what we have learned so far, then dive right into making some cool stuff happen on our web page.